Oh, hey, look at this game. What up, y'all? It's T-Tarn. Welcome back to Inscription. We lost this game last episode. Now we have to start fresh. Let's see where this leads. Make sure you shank that where? Make sure you shank that like button. Look at this board, bro. Look at this crap. So, look, we have a new deck dealt to us. You know, I was sad for a moment, and then I realized something. We did... Because I was sad that we lost Warren, our big card that we were cheating with for one, like, amazing battle. What's wrong with you, bro? How many mans you take? But Twang V is Warren Reborn. I only noticed that when reviewing the episode. Warren is still alive in a sense. Hold up. This will open up if I can open this. So that's the next thing we have to look for. I wonder who Casey is. Yeah, we lost Casey too. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's see where we are now because I don't actually recognize this place. Like, what is this? Some dragon crap? No. You may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must dis- This is not the start of the game. But I lost all my cards. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. What, the freaking Airborne Waterborne? I like the wolf. Who- What even is that? What is that? Dinosaur or serpent? I've never met a, a, a deer in my life. Or a, a caribou. A moose. It makes me want... You know what? I'm gonna be Team Moose. That's a legit T-Tar. I'll be Team Moose. <gasps> it's my starter Pokemon. They gave me something that evolves. A Nash and Tvon. It quickly grows into an elk. What about a Karamos? You randomly chosen a hooved card. <gasps> it can move. Do you wish for something else? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I'm not gonna let him think I'm weak. I'm taking what I picked. Yo, there are players that come in between. So, okay, what is this? My dudes. I, I would need to beat that angler up. I want to make it to him. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. As they do, she carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them respectfully. Now you choose. Okay, this is able to move. This is being waterborne, so you hide at the end of the turn. I don't remember what this is. Sharp quills. I don't really want that. Waterborne is interesting because it means my Pokemon never die. You know, I'm gonna pick that because since I already have this on my starter, you accepted the woodcarver's offering. It is useless without its second half, but you intuited that this would not be the last encounter with her. Oh, she get up. It's a date. We gonna meet. Let's go. So I have five cards in my deck right now. We have to be very careful about What's good, my friends? You again. Indeed, our friend freed me. That was me in the past. Well, I basically told him how to do it. You gotta... I figured out myself, you crap. We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep... In deep this time. My dudes, when we freed Stink... He's here? Another friend here are in deep this time. When we freed Stinkbug... He was... Well, before we freed him, he was like, Have you seen... Puh? I mean, the stoat. So I think he he's someone... Whose name starts with P. Like, okay, let's see what we have on the field. We have a skunk... What is this? A moving sparrow and a skunk that smells, so it's gonna decrease my attack, but it can't do anything. Okay. We just have to... What is that? This is... Something... Maybe I can activate as my field card. Okay, who, does this make anything on the field? This, I think that oh, it only gives it to one. Okay, yo, this this is weird. We're gonna figure this out. Um, we'll summon the squirrel. I'm not really thinking right now. And then we'll summon stone. Seems like an easy crap. The skunk can't do anything. I might as well not care about the skunk. What do you mean? My first play of the, my life. Why would he say that? Why in the- why at all would he say that? Oh, this thing's airborne. Damn, that sucks. Yo, but even if I played it here, it would have decreased my attack by one, so I would have freaking zero attack. I'm about to sacrifice you, bro. You know what? Give me a squirrel. I play squirrel here. Then I summon wolf, sacrifice stoat squirrel. Yeah, I'm sacrificing you. You made freaking fun of me. Then I'm playing Stink Bug. 
Oh, I can stink someone else up too. I'll play stink bug right here. And I'm going to destroy them. Boom, now you can't attack me directly anymore. Oh, oh, we're fighting the wilderness. There's nothing left in the wild. What if I... What if I try to make an incredible play and get a bunch of teeth out? Let's think of this. Good play? Yeah, you you nice, bro. You nice. But you can't. Because they automatically attack. Frick! I got no teeth! The game makes it so you can't cheat. What is this? Is it the she back or date? We can pick a card. What is that? A bug. A f okay, airborne. Well, shouldn't I stick to the same clan? I'm gonna pick Dino. Oh <gasps> my god. Why is this important at all? He's the worst card in the world. Can I get up? Bro. Bro. That's not a T-tar. There has to be a... There, oh, I have two of them? My friend, Elkvon. Is there really no way to just remove a card from your deck? He did give me some hints just now, right? Did we see any times? We're in deep this time. You know what I wonder, right? What do we have to do here? Bray, it is five. It's five on each side. It's like we have to recreate how a certain battle went. Huh. He told me not to touch his crap. What is that up there? This will open. Well, I already opened it. So, and then this is some battle with lizards and stuff. I, I can't open it. There's also this, right? I stole a tooth. Look at him. Look at him turning to look at me. He's definitely... I mean, we know he's watching me, but... That was like active watching right there. What can I do with this tooth? Where did that tooth go? Adder and squirrel. Alright, my dudes. I get a screwdriver. Can I break these? No, just stick, stick to it, stick to it. Okay, let's go to the next one. There has to be. I, I feel like I saw something. This altered deck. I saw this when I was ending the recording last time, but I can't do it. It doesn't let you. So you're legit stuck with this deck. Okay, it's good to know. It's good to know I'm not like effing that up. An old woodcarver appear. She's back? Bruh, I'll it. Serpent. Oh, that's a beautiful serpent. I don't know what that is. It's, oh, that's a bug. Is that a freaking lion? I don't. So it's the second half of this sigil. What's associated with these? This is like stink. What is this? Like alpha? This one is the poison. Frick. That crap! I get one? The woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The waterborne sigil will now be marked upon your reptile creature. Bruh. So, freaking frog can use it and that's it? Well, none of those options was gonna help me except stink. What is that? I can't tell what that is. Bro, let's just fight. I need- I want to draw my fawn and see what happened. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Are you joking, bro? Bullfrog is now my ally? How did this line up? I even picked a second bullfrog. Okay, we got grand fur. What the frick? Is that gonna do something? Clean your room. All right. All right. Let's think of this. Let's think of this. These can hide every turn now. So I block airborne and I hide. So useless. So this is simple. I'm just going to try to damage you. So I'm going to put squirrel down. 
Then I'm gonna sacrifice you and put... Bullfrog. But where should I put Bullfrog? I suppose I could put it here. If you move down, you still have to wait a whole turn after moving down. So I should be able to kill you. That's probably smarter. But I'm gonna put it here so I can attack directly. That's probably a smart play too. You know, I can get in the... I do one freaking damage. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid for that. But I can always correct my mistakes. So... What is that? A freaking alpha. Oh, the first stops airborne. How come I don't have that crap? Give me a squirrel. I put squirrel here. I sacrifice bullfrog and squirrel <laughs> to put wolf here. I summon stink bug who has one attack. Fam, I can't summon stink bug anywhere important. How much HP you have? You have two. Oh no, this is good. Stink bug will make it to attack zero. Stink bug is incredible. Oh, stink bug's amazing. The freaking grand fur attacked me. How is that not a glitch? Shall we? I'll draw a squirrel and I'll just freaking do the same turn. Now, what you gonna do? You lose this turn. My god! Well, I might as well. Well, I can't really do a grand turn. Yeah, I can't do a grand turn. I can only do the exact same turn again, but I suppose I could put squirrel here. This makes no sense. I win this turn. Yeah, I got no teeth for that. This is worst. Okay, look at this bro. We have a pickaxe and then that but this is that This is the one where you can merge the sigil with something. We got to see what the pickaxe is though. Oh, that's some wolf symbol You came across a hobbled man stand. You're the freaking gold miner besides some boulders Yo, that's the actual gold miner. You caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. That is him. Cause we're back at the start of the game, right? Say, I like me a gamble. If when you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Yo, that's legit him. Well, this, there's no indication. There must be some indication, right? Is there really no way? Every symbol, everything lines up the exact same. Alright, any mini money mo catch a taker by the toe. If you're all not on go, any mini money mo out goes you. Okay, now to 50 50. Which one should I do, Stinky? Do this one. F you, Stinky! Can I pick again? But that is a funny looking environment. Bro, I don't want freaking five bone creepy maggot. What is this? Corpse Eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. You are gonna ruin my deck. This dude is gonna ruin it. Is this all I came here for? I missed that crap for this? This is my worst run yet. The bones of the ancient woman creaked as groaned as she approached. It's her again. With gentle shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Why are you back? What is this? Rabbit hole. When a card bearing the seizure's plate, a rabbit is in your hand. Was there a power one health? So I can get a different head for my fawn! I can either make bullfrog into this ability. Or I can make Bullfrog airborne. Or I can make my fawn get this. Man, I picked a pretty bad one. I only have one fawn in my deck though. It's actually not smart to make it this. Like, I have two Bullfrogs. I might as well benefit off it. This is... What is this crap, bro? Okay, put this on this. Yeah, I mean, this looks better. F you, lady. This is the worst run of all time. Okay, here we go. What do we got here? Squirrel, wolf, bullfrog. That wardrobe. He almost put me in there. The top left drawer. But the puzzle was too easy. The top.
top left drawer. Write this down somewhere. Top left drawer. One sec. Top left drawer. It was an easy puzzle. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, yo. This is not bad. We got wolf cub here. This is interesting. So check it out. If I summon squirrel, let me just check. You have two health. Okay. The health doesn't really matter because no one can attack you. So, and then I sacrifice squirrel to put bullfrog here. Now I get a rabbit. So I just hold on to the rabbit. I mean, I can summon the rabbit and then summon wolf. But I might as well just keep it like this. Let's just test. And then he's going to hide, right? Or he's not going to hide. I forgot. I, I took out waterborn. Okay, so we have rabbit. Stink. Okay, this is perfect. We get a squirrel. I can't do piercing damage. So that's kind of scary when that man arrive. Stink bug. But yeah, okay. So we'll summon rabbit. We'll summon squirrel. We'll summon wolf sacrificing them. I'm just gonna have to like put it here. And then we'll summon stink bug. I just need to get in the lead at this point. So we'll do all that. And then attack. I freaking won? There's the gold! How am I gonna beat him this time? How do you even beat him? Okay, let's see. I should take this path. I don't know what that is. That's the lady who gives you sigils. I don't want that. Let's go to the wolf. It let's you pick a card. What do I want? I guess I'm gonna want something dragon related. It's this one, right? My deck is so freaking ruined. Who is airborne? No one is airborne. The first two bosses are not. Okay. Here's the sigil crap. Wait, I wanted to check the puzzle. I can offer... The choice is yours. He's not even saying no to me sacrificing him, but I'm gonna need your help, bro. I can't sacrifice... This is the abilities I can give? I'm gonna have to sacrifice stink bug. Marvelous, your choice. What if I could give Elk Fawn Stinky? Yo, this this might be this might sound stupid, but my don't say hello. I'm about to sacrifice. I don't have any good abilities. I have to do that, bro. And unfortunately, it only gives it to one bullfrog. Right? It's not like it goes to all bullfrogs. Damn, giving Wolf Stinky would be sick too, but Elk Fawn is just so easy to summon, and it'll evolve, right? Wait, Elk Fawn has three abilities now? So hold up, let me get up for a sec. It might help me, so top left drawer. I never noticed anything like that. What the hell is that sound? Top left drawer. What? What if I put some... Why is this moved? No, it's not moved. Can I throw the tooth down there? Is he sleeping awake or something? He told me not to touch anything. Was it that I had to touch it a specific amount of times? And then I, I by coincidence, left my mouse? Wait. Is this something of relevance? Adder poisonous squirrel. Maybe this is what I have to recreate once more cards reveal itself? Yo, I don't see no drawers. Wait, the top left, he's talking about this. How is this too easy to solve? This makes no sense. You know, like, you know, I can... I have to somehow set this. In the right orientation. A card with two damage, one health. One damage, three health. One, three, one, three. It tells you how much is right. Wait, what? Stink? Wait, you're the dude who's not there for... No, what? Put a... Did I glitch the game? Give me my stinky. That I'd put that there very well. You may add it to your deck, and I will deal with every and it, I'll deal you one every so often. He talking to me? Are you not mad? I just did this. 
Oh, he's a reptile. What do you do? Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. So this one is solvable too. I get it. You have to make it so when this turn ends, someone loses by five. Oh, I should be able to solve this. But hold up, hold up. We'll solve that in a sec. How far is the gold miner? He's right there. What is this? Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card moves to the right. Okay, so you don't play it on the very right. So that's what those symbols at the top left are. We have... Wolf is a dino. No, that's a wolf, bro. Can I really not edit my deck? Can I try now? Ow! Frick. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try to solve this. So, let's see. You're airborne, so you're just going to straight up attack. You're going to deal two damage. Do I have a limited amount of tries? Because I can just freaking spam this crap. Y'all remember my ultimate great mod? Worker ant and queen. Formidable creatures, those ants. They're not alive though, and neither was that snake. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. I saved the goons of the future. There's another two? Bro, I got freaking bug man. I have to be able to edit my deck. So you can make it one creature. So your sigil can benefit them all. What do we have on Fawn? He can move. He transforms after a turn. And he's stinky. This one is Corpse Eater. And it can move. I don't even know you could move. What is this? Ant Spawner. When a card bearing decision is played, an ant is created in your hand. Where is your attack? You guys don't have attack? You just have ant? The value is represented with the sigil equal to the number of ants. Bro, so it's just freaking one. And that's gonna be freaking just one or two. Tell me I can edit my deck, bro. I want those out of my deck. No, 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 no. We have to go back in here. I'm about to lose the gold miner, man. I mean, they, they, they should yell at you if you get it wrong. Because I could just spam through this. So pretty, I, I think I have to beat him and beat him uh, with five teeth. So let's see. Bam. Bro, you can... Caged wolf. He's not moving. But six hearts. What is that? Curious. He's watching me for some reason. What do we got here? Caged wolf. It's, it's nothing. It has no attack. Wait. That's you. I can put this out, by the way. I mean, look, I could open the last one. Wait. Yeah, I could open this. Look at this, right? Look. Move this man over here. Move you up. Move. Look at this. Easy. I've already solved it. You ready? Look. And then uh, we just move you down. Hey, I thought I had all the totem heads together. My thanks. The wood cover will offer this now. A freaking rat? Fam, I got stinky and some other stuff and nothing. If I lose the gold miner right now, bro, I, I, I remember nothing about how to fight him. <laughs> so what does he do? He turns all your cards into gold and then he also has the mule. Oh, he gave me the smoke, okay? A chill mist closed in around you. You are not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. I met you earlier, bro. You scammed me. Stand in the way of me, gold. Be darned. We got a boulder. Stink. And I drew full frog. Prospector boss again. His memories are working well. His memories are in line with mine. What if that's me? His memories begin when I start playing this game. Like when you first start playing this game. But I'm changing. Like the, my player is changing. Okay, Coyote. We have to really think about this. We have Stink here. We're going to save the smoke. That's all I remember doing that worked. You summon a rabbit. My dudes, I can have an incredible turn one. 
S look at this, look at this. Summon squirrel. Sacrifice squirrel for bullfrog. Now I get rabbit because that was a reptile and I'm a T-tar. So now I summon rabbit. And if I summon stinky and I put them all the way on the right side, I get a rabbit. So now I put rabbit and I summon stoat. Shut up with your yep. Coyote can attack? Stop that. Okay, uh, it's okay. I, I knew that because you have three health. Another coyote's coming. You are gonna kill Bullfrog. So that sucks. He's gonna kill Bullfrog when he comes down. You're stuck. So what should I draw? Right now I should draw... I could get my squirrels up. Draw this. No, this thing's in my deck! Bro, I should have freaking drew a squirrel. This thing's useless. Uh, I don't want this. Okay, just attack. He killed Bullfrog. That's fine. I can kill you back with Worker Ant. And Pack Mule. I should try to get Pack Mule out of the way early. Let's draw this. Let's put Squirrel here. Man, but be careful. Be careful, because he's going to gold your whole set. So if I put good cards, like I put these two good cards, you're gonna, he's going to gold them. Why am I saving Worker Ant? You see that? I didn't even get to kill his pack mule. Oh, but it's okay. Man, maybe I should have done the Worker Ant thing, because I would have gotten rid of his, his coyote. Now the coyote going to be able to mess, like destroy this right now. But right now, I have like a whole turn. Freaking this thing. So if I summon something, it teleports in front of it. Two. We have a couple turns. I'm thinking we need to draw... Elk fun! And you're stinky! There's nothing I can do this turn. I can't summon or anything. Look. There's nowhere for that card to be placed. So Coyote's gonna break one slot. You're gonna come down and break a second slot. I'm kind of screwed. Wow, that sucks so much. You're so... Oh, my lord. But they counted as bones. I have so many bones. Do I have no bone cards? I could summon this. If something dies by combat, this gets placed. I got an idea. What if I summon the smoke... Right? It's when I get the mule that I can use my bones. Okay, okay, okay. Then we'll... Should I save Fawn? Well, sacrifice put Fawn here. You can't get me. I can attack and kill the coyote right now. But meanwhile, I could summon... I've, how many do I have? One... This is five, five, ten, fourteen. So I can afford to put Corpse Mag in here and fill it. So let's do that. Yeah, I could do that. I can afford that. Okay. This is a decent turn. Shut up! Adder! Elk! Wait, Elk, you suck! Great Moth went up to freaking seven! Well, I can't even control the direction you go in. You go in whatever direction you want? Bro, Elk is the worst. Bloodhound. I need to kill that mule somehow. So what do I gotta do right now? Honestly, I don't mind. Adder is stuck behind there. So if I just draw a squirrel and then put the squirrel there, I can keep blocking the bloodhound. Is this a bad idea? Is this a bad idea? I've got him cornered. But now he moved the pack mule and freaking Adder's coming. But Adder, he's going to take a while to break that. Sounds like a decent idea to keep doing this. I do need to kill the pack mule. Freaking wolf cub is coming. What the hell is all this? What is all this? 
Does Adder do anything if it just hits me? I, I can I can leave Adder alone. Here's what we'll do. I'm gonna get a squirrel. I'm gonna put squirrel here. I'm gonna take one damage. But it's kind of in my favor right now. I'm gonna be able to kill the mule this turn. <gasps> Once I kill the mule, he's gonna go left and die to Adder. I got freaking screwed. I have to sacrifice and put something here. Thankfully, Adder was blocking. I can kill Adder and the pack mule. He can attack me. Give me the cards. Give me that gold envelope, bro. Give me bone creatures. What is all that? Dag nabbit. Bloodhound. You freaking hurt elk, but I decreased your attack. What are you doing, bro? You knocking out that gold nugget? What did I get from him? I got a mole. Borrow. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil would move to that space to retrieve the strike instead. Okay. Uh, what the hell is this? Bell ringer. What the hell? Are you doing ringing the bells? Represented by this card to the suspicion. Hold up, bro. And I got a bat. Oh, this bat. We summon in this bat. We gonna summon this bat. So, we have mole. Who does no freaking damage. I'm kind of blessed though. I'm just gonna get a squirrel. I don't know if I'm doing this smartly. I'm gonna summon Bat right here. I'm so freaking stupid. Now Bat's gonna die. But Elk can attack directly. But Elk was about to kill it. I'm freaking stupid, bro. It's okay. It's not. But it's okay. Wait. It's okay. Just... I could summon this. Are you still stinky? No. It's fine. Let's just go like this. Oh, I beat him. Okay, bro. We beat him with our weird ass deck. Can you give me the ability to mess my deck up? I get a Yu-Gi-Oh card. K9. A Malcolm. What do you mean canine? That's a bug. Canine, hooved, reptilian, feathered, insectoid, the amalgam is all... Oh, it's all... It's all of them. I don't know such a creature, so it could work on all sigils. Child 13, I've seen you before. You've got an infinite situation going on. The amorphous amoeba, its sigils are ever-changing. I, I cannot rely on that. But it would be cool to draw it each battle and... No, but I, I can't do that. Using bones... I'm gonna take child 13... What the frick? You have three damage? I want to take child 13 because I can sacrifice child 13 to get that ability. On something else. But the amalgam is something good for my deck. I'm gonna take amalgam. I'm not gonna- I can't sacrifice child 13, okay? Dude don't even have a name. Uh, after the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onward. Okay, we're on- we're on the second world again. Let me see. Nice map here, bro. Okay, it's all mushy. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and tripping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. Behold the wetlands. Okay. What the frick, Jinx? Look at all this, bro. We don't have many teeth. Is that the girl? Is she gonna come back? You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. He's not put his head in it. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke, pass one of my trials and I'll be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will... I want this creature. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. So I can't do anything? It's a luck trial? Okay. It spoke, but first you will get a trial. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. I think I have a shot at that. The Trial of Kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. I do have a bunch of reptiles. But from three cards? The first one's more likely. The Trial of Health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health. I think the first one's the most likely. Do the ants count as one? What if the ants count as zero? How many reptiles do I have? I have the three frogs. And then I have a fourth one, right? 
Let the trial of power begin. One, three. Oh, yay, baby. Those are like my best cards. The beast revealed itself. It was me all along. What the frick? Elk fawn? A second elk fawn? With sharp quills. Beehive. Beehive evolves? Wait, so you can really imprint this onto a creature and something can happen to it. Oh my god, this has the poison. Anything alpha attacks dies. I could use this to kill the angler, but his shark go to swimming, so you can't even attack them. How do you kill the angler? I kind of want to do beehive. I'm going to say alpha, bro. The bee is really good, but an in the inhabited alpha joins your managery. I know what that is, bro. Well, there's nothing I could really do out here. Did we learn any time? What was it, 273? No, this makes no sense, bro. Okay, let's move on. We got a backpack. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Oh, oh no, you can't use that. And another squirrel. So right now I have ply- Can I get rid of the pliers, please? Failure. To the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. He's lying. Four bones. Oh, I would love that. And I just got the alpha. I want to see what this does. Bro, I'm taking it. What do we have here? Oh, these pads completely diverge. So, I don't remember what that is. That's the witch lady? Then I got a fire. What the hell? An amoeba crap? Bro. You know what? I kind of want to see what the amoeba crap is. Let's go this way. Man, if I lose to the angler this time, this will be, this will be so disappointing. We got bullfrog, kingfisher, kingfisher. What is this crap? Caged wolf? You here? Yo, all these cards kind of poo. Okay, let's see. I do have to mess up Bullfrog because I'm not going to move down. I can mess up any of these, actually. I'll put Squirrel here. Then I'll summon Elk Fawn here. When Bullfrog moves down, his attack will go to zero, so he can't even damage Elk Fawn. This is all I can do for now. It'll be my favorite. No! You freaking... Your ability sucks! You screwed me! Bro, I got freaking screwed right there! It's against me? This is so poo, bro. Now the worker ant- No, the worker ant will survive. But as one- Okay, we're gonna have to fight back and forth. But I, I think I can kill it. Okay. I'm- The freak fearless otter? What's that say? River Otter. I've seen you before. Okay. I need to draw. Who's it favoring? It's 50-50 right now. Can I draw one of the good cards? Stink! This is a good one! Once I kill Bullfrog, River Otter's gonna come and kill me. But River Otter... Ah, and I can't kill River Otter back. Well, this is not good. When a card bearing the sigil is struck, it makes a decoy. Yo, yo, yo. I don't know if this makes sense. I could also put you here. But what's the point? We'll put this here. I get a rabbit. I'll save the rabbit for now. This will kill you. And then when you come to attack me, I'll move to the right. Watch this. No! Oh, he moves to the left. It's hard to call it cowardly. Why, why, why did you say that? I thought you were going to forfeit or something. Why did I get a second freaking rabbit? It's because you were summoned. Every time something is summoned, Coyote's here. Am I in the lead? Yeah, I'm still in the lead. Okay, let me draw a good card now. So I will summon a rabbit. Then I will summon Wolf sacrificing you two. And I suppose I'll put the... Wolf here, so give Stink some space. And then I'll just freaking attack. Oh, I won. 
Doing good so far. Let's see what this is. And then we're gonna see the mushroom amoeba. We get to pick a card? Okay. I do need more bone cards. Let's pick it to a bone. This is the, the worst one. That's in my deck now? Why does table look like my table? That's in my deck now. Wait, do I have to be able to... What's with this UI? It's like a, a camera, right? Is there really no way to edit your deck? It is mushrooms. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through the thick cloud of spores. No, but I'm high. I'm very clearly high. A doctor? You are the misologist, yes? Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from... We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We will need two of the same creatures, each for one of us. No, you gonna take my frogs, bro. Take them frogs. What will it do? What will it do? Just take the frogs. It's the symbol of my deck, but take the frogs. I think this could get messy. Look away. Don't freaking combine them into a conjoined bullfrog. Wait, <laughs> that's exactly what it did. I meant two heads, though. It merged the two together. That's really good. Two attack for... That's what happened to you. The bullfrog's like my best card now. Yo, that bullfrog is stuck looking like that. Oh, thank goodness I didn't do to the corpse maggot. Okay, let's go to this. This is... It's a it's a hard battle. It's an insect field. And it's giving all the insect creatures some ability. What ability is this? Guardian? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to the empty space. Bro. So if I place something here, it'll go. He'll place something right in front. So he has bees that are gonna flock around. But it doesn't really matter because I can't attack. Well, I can. They're not waterborne. Bro, this game. I have my special alpha. Look how gruesomely it was stitched on. Yo, my big bull. This not the. This not the good bullfrog. But this one has the sigil. So you know what? We. We gonna play you. Then we go play bullfrog. I'm gonna get a rabbit. I'm not gonna do anything with the rabbit. I'm just gonna. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You attack- How did you attack me? It says we'll strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature there. He attacked the bullfrog somehow. That makes no sense. That's not how this game works. The freak is moving. I need a good card. Elk fawn is decent. And elk fawn is stinky. Okay. We'll summon rabbit. Sacrifice uh, a rabbit for elk fawn. Why are you so mad? I can't really do anything else. I wonder what the goo do, bro. I'm gonna have to use it on the angler. Okay, I didn't make any progress this turn. You freaking killed a bullfrog. Alright, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need a, ra a squirrel. A mantis. But the mantis can never hit me. What if I... Play the rabbit right here. I'll push the mantis over there. Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna play you here and let you kill it. Will this work? I should get in the lead a bit. Frick, frick. Mantis didn't get to attack me. Oh, because of Stinky. I got zero attack. Okay. Now, let's just draw a squirrel. I have Alpha. Alpha can kill anything right now. So I'm thinking we play squirrel here. Why did I do that? <laughs> I don't mean to do that. We'll play alpha right here. What the hell? Oh, it took all my bones. Okay, then we do this. The freaking beehive. How come I got something? How come I got a bee for your crap? What the hell? Bruh? I got a bee from his beehive by hitting the bee? 
The beehive? Beehives? These bees have one attack? And you can summon them with no sacrifice? I got skink. So check it out. I'll save B. I'll summon skink on squirrel. I got another freaking rabbit. It don't matter. Just attack. Oh, we good. We good. What's happening over there? Workaround. I should be able to just screw you over this turn, right? Bro, he's gonna kill Alpha. Okay, let's draw from this deck. My big bullfrog! I'm so excited. Damn, bro. I got an idea. Summon this bee right here and it can attack directly. And let's just leave this as the turn. Oh, I freaking beat him. Man, I'm not getting a lot of teeth, but I've not run into the teeth person unless it's you. We're close, bro. We're getting to the end of this map. Okay, so obviously I should be doing reptile things. I mean, that's pretty good. Three attack. It's just, it's so late game, the bone stuff. You can't really summon stuff at the start. So if you draw it at the start, you're screwed. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. Oh, it's her again. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Moose. Bones. And what is that? Ostrich? Lamb. What could I do with... Oh, wait. Bone King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. So all my reptile creatures will have this instead. I like what we have now on the reptiles. Oh, that's a bird. I don't want any of these. Because I only have one fawn. I don't have any birds. But I might as well get another ability in the in the in the bag. But I'm gonna stick to reptile and rabbit. Now I'm sticking to reptile rabbit. This this has worked for me. When he looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. But why are you calling her ancient? That's freaking mean. Right, I gotta reset the recording. One sec. My dudes, we're so close to the angler. You know, I've been thinking of how we're supposed to fight it. I can't really think of a strat, man. They have four attack and they go waterborne. Oh, my amalgam is here. Yo, amalgam. I'm so happy I picked that. That was a good pick. So we have Hung Fisher. Everything's airborne here. They do four damage to me. So let's see. Amalgam. It gives me a freaking rabbit. Oh, do you know? I, I need to get rid of this cage wolf. I I'm never going to be able to summon it. If it does no attack. It just has six health. We could. Wait. Oh my goodness. You need two sacrifices for that dude? Well, I'm effed. Oh wait, Bullfrog gets it too. <laughs> wait. But this isn't really. Wait, Bullfrog. Bullfrog's stupid ability stops them from attacking me. That's incredible. Maybe that's why they're attacking me earlier. What sucks is when that thing moves down, it's gonna freaking kill Bullfrog. Why have I done this? Why have I screwed my life like this? At this point, I should sacrifice Bullfrog and summon Amalgam. Oh, I made such a stupid error. I'm actually gonna have to do that. You know what I'm really nervous about, bro? If I lose the Angler, I don't think I'm gonna continue playing this game. Like, how, how could I continue playing this? Okay. Oh my lord. It's freaking against me. Elk fawn. Elk fawn stinky. Another one. Oh my goodness. Put the rabbit. Put the elk fawn. Elk fawn do one damage and I think it'll neutralize that. I'm gonna I'm in the I'm I'm losing slowly. What is this? Oh, I do have pliers. I might as well... Okay, just do the attack. That's it? Freaking screwed up. Okay, Elk Fawn at least leveled up. 
Now what do I gotta do? I might have to use that emergency scroll. That'd be so stupid too, though. Let me just see what we draw. I got skink. I don't really care about skink. I swear, if I lose to this dude right now... Oh, they're gonna do so much damage! That's it? I was almost gonna pull my teeth over this crap. But I'm about to be able to pull so many teeth off this dude. Watch this, watch this right now. Summon Squirrel. Put Squirrel. Get Stink. What is... Put Stink right here. Get Rabbit. Rabbit don't really matter. But I'm just gonna attack now. How many teeth did I get? Won a battle with damage from squirrels? <laughs> did I actually do that? How many teeth did I get? It doesn't really show. Okay, let's go up here. Can I travel backwards, bro? Looks like I can go down that path. Wait, I did record everything, right? Yeah, okay. A real moose. Creatures of the wild make way for it. This is why you need that buckshot roulette for what the frick a strong arm? Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil's creature. Wait. Oh, it's the same crap? It's an arrow, but it pushes things. That's an easy one to say no to. It's one of them. No, bro. Uh, this is so useless. No, this is so useless. I cannot grab Moose Buck, though. This, all three of these suck. The only thing I would do is grab Kingfisher to steal its abilities. I'm not grabbing Moose Buck, bro. Three sacrifices? Are you joking? Oh, man. What am I gonna do if I don't have any items? Hmm. The amount of items you can carry is three and you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Is that like the ability that the mule had? Trinket bear, when a card bearing decision is played, you will receive a random item as long as you're- That is a bonus! That is a bone. That is so good! So you have to go to a bag spot with the full inventory. I was almost thinking I should have used the pliers. That was good right there. We have to fight him? If I lose them here, I'm not playing this game. At least not for a while. Because look how, what I had to do to get back here. Did he... What the... Oh, I thought all of these were revealed. Let me see. What we, we have hammer. Nothing really. No, bro. None of these really. Unbelievable. How do we fight him? So, round one, he pulls things. Round two, he puts paint buckets. It's over, bro. We're, we're doing it. And look, he takes one of my health, but he has two health? Two lives? The mud tagged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank order caused your stomach to turn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. He eating rotting fish? Go fish. This man is kind of cool. I got my big bullfrog. I got Kingfisher. I got Elk Fawn. What is the strat, bro? What is the Kingfisher? If I summon Bullfrog, he will start to attack. He will start to attack my creatures. So you have to be careful. What if I sacrifice Squirrel for King Richard? I mean, Bullfrog. Then I can summon Elk Fawn or King Fisher. Oh my goodness! This is incredible! But I have to save my cards, bro. Guys, what actually is the strat to that? Four bait buckets. And they waterboard themselves. And they have four freaking attack.
Should I try to go easy on him? Because if I only have one card in the field, then when I'm forced to attack, it'll only activate one of them. Is that the strat? What if I try to play this easy going? I want to activate Elkfawn early though so it can evolve. This is a weird play. I mean, what am I going to gain from doing this? I can summon King Fisher though, because King Fisher doesn't is not going to attack the bait bucket. If when he does that crap, I only have an airborne, I win. That's the only thing I can think of how to beat him. But I can't like get rid of my own monsters. I can. We can always stall. What if I just put rabbit there? Frick. See? See, see, see? And he hooked rabbit. I should just keep this going. Am I in the lead? I'm in the lead slowly. What should I draw? I do need rabbits. My rabbit is still there though. I'm just gonna draw a rabbit. And put it here. What am I trying to do here? Now freaking bullfrog is here. And he took my squirrel. That's okay. That's okay, because Squirrel is useless. So now I've screwed up that slot of his. He's not aiming his hook, so I can summon something. Maybe I should just summon freaking Elk Fawn. I really did Oh, I have to draw first. What if I draw from this? I got Pack Rat. Why don't I use my... I can use... I can pull my teeth to tip the scales. I'm about to use this goo, and it's just gonna... I'm just gonna die. I'm seeing something here. I have stinky, so you're gonna have zero attack. This will do two damage, then one damage. So one, two, three. If I pull my teeth. Do I win now? Yes! My dudes! Go fish. He only put two? There goes my freaking strat. My strat was gonna be to wipe my own field. I cannot let them attack that no matter what. Though with Stinky, he'll Elk will survive. And Elk's gonna When does Elk move? At the end, so after it attacks. Let's draw from this. I got Alpha, but this can kill these. So check it out, right? I'm so freaking scared to do this, but... Let's try this. Let's summon Pack Rat, getting rid of these two. Throw Pack Rat over there. Now I got an hourglass. I can skip to his turn? I'm gonna summon the smoke right there. I'm gonna sacrifice the smoke to summon Kingfisher. I want to skip his turn. I'll pass my next turn. We freaking, we freaking beat him. We beat him. Wait, wouldn't Alpha be able to straight up terminate the bait bucket? Don't do anything. Just do this. What a way you had to beat him. You had to fight as weak as possible. Need a light. Yeah, light my candle back up. Yes. 
I 100% was gonna quit this series. What was I gonna do for the next episode? Play the whole game again from the start? Your reward? A rare Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm so happy. My mind, guys. I figured that out. Oh my god, Strange Larva is back. Orayoli? The level of British strength needs no explanation. Four sacrifices? No. I mean, seven is great. Is it a bear? Ouroboros, the eternal serpent. Is that a reptile? Death strengthens it forever? Unkippable, when a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Why did he say that, though? It makes it sound like every time it respawns, it's stronger. But F, F these two. I can't wipe my whole field to someone who you're really. But you're a bug. Wait. Oh my god. No, no, no. Don't look at the claw down there. You have to look at the top left. That's a dinosaur. That works for my sigils. But that's so stupid. Unless I get the Ouroboros and I just steal the sigil from it. Is Ura Yuli... No, even if Ura Yuli fit for all sigils, I wouldn't want it. Bro, but Strange Larva? If y'all saw when it evolved, it had 7 attack, maybe because I buffed it, and it was airborne. So pretty much, you win the duel if it evolves. Yeah, I should skip out on Ouroboros. Yeah, 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 I have to, bro. I have to. My dudes, we did it. Let's see World 3. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank order deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Come, let me eat. Let me think. What in the frick is this? A frigid gust of wind billowed unwelcomed into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You've ascended to the... I'm done. Shank that like button. What's happening here? I've unlocked everything. I took the tooth. What if I could cut that rope? Oh! Oh! Wait! I could have always done that? That's like a cheat. To get extra teeth. He's a, he's a ram. <gasps> four, four? Are you joking? Are there numbers all over this room? Oh, there are my dudes. I'm done. Shank that like button. We have a pretty decent deck right now. Look at this crap. We, if we find those spots, we can merge their abilities and get something good. Pack rat is so good. I've never even drawn Ant Queen once. I think we've picked good cards. We have something unusual but good going on here. And I haven't even found Twang V. So let's see, my dudes. Shank that like button. Let's see what the final boss of World 3 is. I won't lose to it this time on my first try. First try, we're going to predict and beat it. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.